All right, Sean Harris, greetings from Dallas, Fort Worth. I was scrolling through my social media and came across an article saying that Ryan Johnson is walking away from his proposed Star Wars trilogy. I couldn't find the source. Okay. Is this, this true? Is, oh my God, okay. <laughs> so here's the thing. Yesterday, my, my Twitter starts blowing up, right? Going, John, did you hear that Ryan Johnson has left the Star Wars thing? John, did you hear Ryan Johnson has left Star Wars? John, did you hear Ryan? I'm like, what? And so I hop online. Now, you and I talked about this before, right, Robert? Like, I, I had mentioned that, okay, like, as far as we know, his producer's saying, nope, as soon as he's done with Knives Out, he's working on it. But hey, things change all the time in the movie business. Right. Maybe he won't do it. I mean, who knows? So I start seeing all of these reports, like all these headlines, like from Screen Rant to all these things. Uh, Ryan Johnson departing Star Wars. Ryan Johnson departing Star Wars. And what do I always tell everybody? Look when for the you source. See, yep. When you see these headlines, look for the source. What's the source that they're all getting this from? And you know where the source was from? Mm -hmm. It was from a hobby WordPress website run by a student called Super Bro Movies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which... I will confess, I think it's a pretty cool title for a website. I'll be honest. I'm a little, I'm a little jealous of the title. I, I actually dude, like. Dude, I think you and I are the super bros. Come on. Well, yeah, we? well, yeah. Well, they got the title, so I guess it's them. So I, I, I will admit, I'm a little jealous of the title a little bit. So, um, so it's this hobby website by a student and a couple of friends, and other than the Ryan Johnson post, their previous ten posts spanning a couple of days had zero comments. So that just I means just. They don't have a big readership. Let's just say that. So <laughs> anyway, this WordPress site run as a hobby by a student and some friends that doesn't have much readership. They write, we're hearing that Ryan Johnson has chosen to depart the Star Wars thing. A WordPress hobby blog by a student that doesn't have anybody reading it. Um, and, and by the way, it's a fun little site. It's a fun little site. I, I spent some time actually on the site to say, okay, these guys just a bunch. No, no, it's, it's actually a fun little site. Uh, I like it. Um, so, hey, and all they did was say, hey, we heard something and they communicate. Nothing wrong with that. But again, it's these sites that then, oh, somebody somewhere said something, run it as a headline. And he had all these sites running these headlines. Ryan Johnson claims reports. Reports? This wasn't from the Hollywood Reporter. This wasn't from, you know, uh, a deadline. This wasn't from, you know, Forbes. This is a hobby blog by a student who does a part-time for fun wrote that and they ran with it at headlines. And I keep telling people, look for the source, look for the source, look for the source. Well, sure enough, Ryan Johnson then gets online because somebody tweets to him and says, hey, uh, is this true? And Ryan Johnson very quickly jumped online and he wrote the following. He said, no, it isn't true. I'm still working on the trilogy. With all due respect to the movie bros, who I'm sure are lovely, kind bros with good <laughs> fraternal intentions. Um, so that was, that was Ryan Johnson's response. And again... It, like one of my biggest pet peeves is like, look, I have no problem with any website that says, hey, we heard something and we're going to tell you what we heard, right? I have no problem with that. But for then bigger sites to go, oh, is this a reliable source? Is this this kid who's saying this, is this a true reliable source that we are justified to run a headline on our big site saying Ryan Johnson reportedly leaving? That is such BS, and it causes so much confusion. And you saw that rampant in the movie sphere last night. So much confusion going on amongst the fans because they had all these sites running this BS story because they thought that source was worth writing a headline on. And I don't blame Super Bro Movies at all. It's not their fault. They're not the ones who made like sites like Screen Rant and others run these headlines. It's not their fault. I don't blame them. I, I blame these sites that ran with that because that. And once again, it just goes back to really highlighting the, the need that we as film fans say, like, okay, read a headline, fine. What's the source? Where are they getting that from? Are they getting it from somebody in the studio? Are they getting it from the Hollywood Reporter? Are they getting it from, like, find out the source and then go from there. But I got on Twitter last night, Rob. No. And yeah, go, go figure. I got on Twitter and 
I said the following, and this is what I said on Twitter. And then I deleted it because I decided, you know what? This is something I should talk about on the show. So I don't want to get a conversation about it on Twitter. So I deleted the tweet because I want to talk about it on the show. But, but I had up on Twitter for a bit this basically the thing that says, look, I'm not going to be surprised uh, at all. I'm not going to be surprised at all if Ryan Johnson at some point does leave this thing. I'm not going to be surprised if he does. Like, as of right now, he's still on. Great. But I wrote, I don't even know why Ryan Johnson would want to do another Star Wars film, <laughs> quite frankly. I, I have no idea why he would want. And, and this is what I wrote on Twitter. I said, I don't even know why he would want to. Because love or hate The Last Jedi, and Rob, you and I both have some great friends that we both know in this town who love Star Wars but hated The Last Jedi. I mean, we know people who hated The Last Jedi. I mean, the good, hardcore Star Wars fans that, you know, they saw The Last Jedi didn't work for them. We know lots of people like that, and that's fine. But I said, look, love or hate The Last Jedi. It's fine to love it. It's fine to hate it. But I said, love or hate The Last Jedi, the amount of vitriol abuse that Ryan Johnson took at the hands of fans was inexcusable and just made all Star Wars fans look like cousin-humping, basement-dwelling losers. I saw that tweet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I, I just thought, you know what? No, I want to put this on the show, so I took the tweet down because I want to talk about it here. Now, look, if you love The Last Jedi, great. I don't love it, but I like it. You know, I yeah. certainly take some issues with it. I know you do too, Rob. But if you hate The Last Jedi, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with loving The Last Jedi. There's nothing wrong with hating The Last Jedi. It's a movie. We have a response to movies. But there is no excuse for them becoming abusive. There is no excuse. I mean, I went then, I, w I went through all the reports and read through all the old tweets and stuff like that. And it's like, the amount of times, like, he... The names Ryan Johnson was called. Aww. Uh, the uh, the <laughs> one that serves me, hoping his parents die in a train wreck, which, by the way, I don't even know if Ryan's parents are still alive or not, but hoping his parents die, die in a train wreck so he can be too distracted to make another Star Wars movie, to, you know, uh, forgive the language, but this is what was written, you fag feminazi uh, to, uh, like, that, it's that stuff. Like, you hate The Last Jedi. That's fine. It's, there's movies I hate. Guess what? I hate Assassin's Creed the movie. I hate that movie. I think it's terrible. Am I getting on Twitter and trolling and attacking and name-calling uh, Justin uh, Kurzel, who directed that, also directed Macbeth with uh, uh, Michael uh, Fassbender as well? Am I getting online and saying, You're, you should just die, crawl to a hole and die, you effing loser, blah, blah, blah. No, I didn't like the movie. Eh, say la vie. I thought the movie was terrible. I, I thought it was an awful movie. Nothing wrong with me thinking it's an awful movie and saying that I thought it was awful. But there's a difference between that and then going on an organized campaign to troll and hate and disparage and just abuse somebody online. And you know what it reminds me of, Rob? It reminds me of this. My, I my remember, thoughts on Star Trek Discovery? <laughs> like your thoughts on Star <laughs> Trek Discovery. You hate it, but you never call me names for the fact that I like it. You no, know? No. And, and 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 vice versa. You, know, you I love Star Trek. <laughs> you back. <laughs> I, I love Star Trek Discovery, and you hate it, but I... I I never call you names for loving it. No. And I never I've never heard you I've heard you criticize the work on it, but I've never heard you once get on get online and say, so and so writer of Star Trek should just fucking give up and blah. I've never seen you say that. You've criticized the work, and that's perfectly fair. And there's a lot of Star Wars fans out there who didn't like The Last Jedi who take a very sensible approach going, oh man, I hated that movie. But right. they don't then abuse <laughs> the people who are in it. They don't then abuse the filmmakers who make it. And, and I stand by that. Like, it's those people, those that vocal minority who act like cousin-humping, basement-dwelling losers that make us all look bad because then you see all over the other, the rest of the internet saying, oh, Star Wars fans are just a pack of losers. Look at the way they act. I mean, and, and I stand by that. I completely stand by that. It's great if you hate that movie because there's lots of movies I hate, but there's a difference between hating a movie and then going, and, and here's what it reminds me of. I remember at Star Wars Celebration Orlando, Ryan Johnson was there and there were people in overnight lines and Ryan Johnson showed up at like midnight to walk the lines and meet people in the lines. Yeah. And it was a big love-in. 
what you had was a guy who wanted, his intention was to give Star Wars audiences something they would love. That's what he wanted. You could just see the mutual love that he had for Star Wars fans, Star Wars fans had for him. And then guess what? He made a movie that did not work for everybody. He made a movie that for a lot of Star Wars fans, a lot of Star Wars fans loved it, a lot of Star Wars fans hated it. But it reminds me of, let's say, you know, uh, you're a woman and you and your guy, you, you both work, and one day your guy goes, you know what, I'm going to get home early tonight and I'm going to cook dinner for my wife. I'm going to get home early tonight and I'm going to cook dinner for my wife because I want her to just walk in and not stress about anything, not stress about where are we going to get dinner tonight. But I want her to walk in and just have a meal ready for her and that's what I want to give her. Now, he makes dinner and it's from the pit of hell. It's eggs with ketchup and it's pineapple on pizza and it's everything wrong. It's everything wrong with nature. It's totally against nature. Anyway. And he makes a bad dinner. Does she go, honey, I love you for, for the thought, but this was terrible. Let's not do this again. Let's, let's not have this for dinner again. Or does she throw her plate on the ground and say, how dare you? How dare you? I hope your mother dies in a train wreck and I blah, 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 blah. No, there's a difference between the two, right? He wanted to give them something they would love. <laughs> and for a lot of people, he failed at it. And that's fair. That's fair. Nothing wrong with that. But, I mean, Ryan Johnson's kind of become, and as well several cast members in the movie, become real examples of how fandom goes toxic, of how fandom goes bad, and nothing wrong with hating the movie. Nothing wrong with it. But then when you turn your guns on somebody and decide, I'm going to, I'm going to troll and abuse and just hurl insult after insult at somebody, that's, I'm sorry, you've become subhuman. At that point, at that point, you become subhuman. So I don't know, Rob, your whole thought on that whole situation. Well, well, first of all, what people don't understand is, well, maybe they do. Last Jedi grossed over a billion dollars. Number one, number one box office film domestically and worldwide of 2017. Of course, Disney's going to hire Ryan Johnson to make another Star Wars movie. Why wouldn't you? It made a billion dollars, which means a lot of people went and saw it and liked it and saw it again and again and again. And it, it, it's amazing to me. Look. I am highly critical of Star Trek Discovery. And as a matter of fact, all of Star Trek over the last 10 years. But I at least try and keep my analysis somewhat cogent and, and uh, try and elevate the discourse about why it's a horrible steaming pile of not something that's very any good. <laughs> right. but, yeah, but I'm not a, personally attacking people. I mean, I'll attack the entire writer's room. <laughs> but but to go after people and start talking about wanting to kill their parents or see it's so silly like you said it's just a film and look what we should be doing across the board is elevating the discourse if you don't like something figure out the reasons why and articulate it in a in a in a thoughtful manner that adds to the conversation because there's nothing wrong with disliking something as you said but but hatred and vitriol doesn't make you look good. What you need to do is sharpen your rapier wit and, and really skewer something, but do it in an elegant fashion. Become a cunning linguist and really go after something and, and use eloquent words and, and, and use really intellectual uh, analysis and destroy something that way and help us all understand your point of view. But when you start screaming and yelling and threatening people, nobody takes you seriously. So, I mean, if you can write something that's great, maybe somebody will stand up and, and take notice and be like, aha, this person has a good point. Let's listen to more of what they have to say. But, you know, when you start talking about people's families dying in train crashes, no one listens to you. Yeah, and, and again, it just goes back to that analogy that I was saying before. It's like, look, I have attempted to make dinner for Anne. I'm not a, well, I'm not a good cook, but sometimes I knock it out of the park. But when I make Anne a bad meal, she, she'll tell me that that meal wasn't so good, John. She won't call me a bad person or start calling me names or any of that kind of stuff because the meal was bad. Right. Or because the meal didn't work for her. And 
I don't know. I, I, again, like I said, you hate discovery. I haven't once seen you get on 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 Twitter or anything and go after writers, specific writers or specific directors, spe specific actors saying, just get out of the business. You suck. Blah, blah. I've never seen you can say, hey, I hated this episode. I hated the show. And I've seen you so eloquently go through your reasons. I disagree with all of them, but I've seen right. you eloquently go through all your reasons. Here's why this Star Trek to me is trash right now. It's because of, I see this, I see this, I see this. And you go through that without ever making personal attacks on people involved. And that's where it gets toxic. And it's just something that, and by the way, by the way, let me be clear here too. It is no less horrible. It is no less wrong for somebody who loves, uh, say, The Last Jedi to go after and personally attack anybody who just fairly says, hey, Last Jedi didn't work for me. That is just as bad, that is just as wrong, and that shouldn't happen. But if you're one of these people that goes, oh, I didn't like that movie, I'm going to just go try and abuse that person now. I'm going to go try to abuse people now. Then you're a cousin-humping, basement-dwelling loser. <laughs> and I make no apologies for, for telling you that. If you just what? go out to abuse people, sorry, that's what you are. If you hate a movie, then you're a film fan. If you're abusing people over it, you're a cousin humping basement dwelling loser. See, I just, you know, I grew up as a James Bond fan. And if you're a James Bond fan the way I am, you've been getting some good James Bond movies and mm -hmm. some not go not so good James Bond movies. But <laughs> I just like watching a James Bond movie. I'm happy we're still getting them. Is View to a Kill and Die Another Day just awful? Yes, they are. <laughs> but but I'll sit down and watch them if they show up on cable. I mean uh, I, I, we're going to get another Star Wars movie. It'll probably be better than the last Star Wars movie. I liked Solo. You know, there's people that are pillaring the entire Disney handling of the franchise. We're getting The Mandalorian. Uh, I, I, I think they're wrong about that. I just think it's, it's, it's great that we live in a world where we're getting more Star Wars. Now, if you want to be critical of it, just be critical of it with a, with, with, with a, more, a more thoughtful point of view. Come at it from a more sort of when you when you the, the way you criticize something says more about you than it does about the thing that you're criticizing yeah so and you know what and like let's be honest here we are all guilty of it at some point and in some way sometimes we let things get away from us and we say things that we go ah yeah that's not something like we're, we're like to some degree we all do that right we all do sure. it. it's just the key is catching ourselves when we do it and saying, okay, I'm not going to do that anymore. I shouldn't do that. I, that's, that's not helping the situation. That's not, you know, as you would say, Robert, elevating the discourse.